In this problem, we're told that a sprinter accelerates from rest to 9 meters per second in 1.28 seconds. What is her acceleration in A, meters per second squared, and B, kilometers per hour squared? So in order to solve the problem, let's write down what's given first. So we're told that uh, the sprinter accelerates from rest, so their initial velocity is going to be zero, right? Because they're starting at rest, and if you're at rest, you're going zero meters per second. And they're going two, which means that their final velocity is going to be nine meters per second. So when they say from some velocity to another velocity, it's going to be your initial velocity to your final velocity. And then we're told that they do this in 1.28 seconds. So time is going to be 1.28 seconds. And so they're asking for the acceleration in meters per second squared and kilometers per hour squared. So A equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. And we need to find it in meters per second squared and kilometers per hour squared. So let's start with the, let's uh, solve for the meters per second squared because we see that our units line up, right? We have meters per second here and here and seconds here. So they all line up and then we're going to convert that into kilometers per hour squared. So let's use the kinematic equations to solve. So deciding which one to use, uh, we notice that two, three, and four all contain delta x, which just means it contains a distance. And we're not given a distance, we're just given velocities and times. And if you look, uh, these contain it, so we're not gonna use those. And if you look at number one, it has v, which we're given, has v sub zero, has t, and then it has a, which what is what we're solving for. So let's use this equation to solve. So v, which is going to be nine, I'll do it up here, 9 equals v sub 0, which is 0, I'm not going to write it though, plus a, which is what we're trying to solve for, times time, which is 1.28 seconds. So 9 equals 1.28a, to solve for a, divide by 1.28. So we have 9 divided by 1.28. If you go ahead and plug that in your calculator, a is going to be equal to 7.0315. You can round however you want. I'm just going to make it 7.03. And this is going to be in meters per second, right? Because this is in meters per second, or meters per second squared, my bad. Because uh, it says right here for A, meters per second squared. So the answer to A is going to be 7.03 meters per second squared. I'm going to write down the full number, though, because we're going to need it to convert. So 7.03125. And so now let's find in, in, in kilometers per hour. So we're just going to take this number and use like unit conversion and we're going to change it to this. So it's 7.03125, uh, it's going to be meters per second squared. And so instead of writing it as second squared, I'm going to write it as just seconds times seconds and you'll see why it makes it a little easier to understand. So let's convert the meters first. So we know that there's a thousand meters for one uh, kilometer, right? So this meter and this meter will cancel, and this is going to change it to kilometers. But now we need to change it to hours squared. And so we have two seconds, right? So we need to change it, or we need to get rid of the seconds. So we know that there is 60 seconds in one minute, and then there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? And we're trying to get it into hours. So 60, like you can see this second, second cancels, minute, minute. That'll give us one hour, right? So 60 times 60 is going to give us 3,600. So I'm going to combine them. And the reason is because we're doing two separate ones. So 3,600 seconds for every hour. So that's only going to cancel out one of the seconds, though. We have to do both. So let's do another one, right? So 3,600 seconds for every hour. Seconds cancel. So basically now we've got it, right? It's going to be kilometers per hour times hour, right? So hours squared on the bottom. And so if you go ahead and do this, take your 7.03125, multiply it uh, by 3,600, 3,600, and then you divide by 1,000, you're going to get 9, or 91,125. And so keep in mind the units that we're using, kilometers per hour squared. So this right here is going to be your answer to B, 91,125 kilometers per hour squared. And then your answer to A is going to be 7.03 meters per second squared.